Good citizens. In this video, I will show you a 10 minute routine to do for overall inflammation. So note that I want to say that, of course, that you can experience inflammation in different areas. So for example, if you had inflammation in your fingers, it would be different from if you had inflammation in your gut, different from inflammation in your knees, uh, and so on and so forth. But I wanted to do a routine for overall inflammation if you feel kind of puffy and heavy in your body to help move and circulate energy to reduce inflammation. So honestly speaking, to help with inflammation, any kind of mindful movement and exercises will help. So I'll do a routine together with you, but I want you to focus on breathing out exhaling out and when you exhale out through the movements imagine heavy energy that puffy stuffy energy that's making you feel inflamed coming out of your body guiding it out through your mouth through your exhales focus on breathing out as much as you can all right okay great let's get started so first of all we're going to do some light walking so this kind of walking is a little bit unique you want to bring your feet shoulder width apart and you want to lean your body slightly forward so that the weight of your body is on the ball of your foot. So instead of leaning back, so I'll show you from the side, instead of leaning back, a lot of people walk like this, especially when you're older, but you see how the weight is on the back of my uh, foot on my heel. You wanna lean a little bit forward so it's on the front part, not so much your toes. If you go to your toes, it's too far. Little bit so your weight is on the ball of your foot. And from there, walk like you're touching the floor with the ball of your foot. It's actually truly between the ball of your foot and the arch. There's a point right here called the Yong Chun, which means fountain of courage. It's an acupressure point to receive energy from the earth. So let's walk here for 30 seconds. It's kind of crazy to think about how beneficial walking is for your health seems so simple it seems like something we take for granted but walking is a very excellent exercise to help with inflammation so let's walk in place here 30 seconds lift your knees nice and high you don't have to go too high like this just nice and high not dragging your foot like this like this 30 seconds one two three four five swing your arms to open your chest Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Feel the bottom of your foot. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Let's go for ten more. Lucky ten more. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Stop. Great job. Now bring your feet back to shoulder width. If they came together a little bit, bring it back to shoulder width. Bring your right hand on your belly. Left arm goes up. Breathe in. Exhale out through your mouth. Lean to the right side. Look up at the ceiling. Feel the stretch on the side of your body. A lot of people have inflammation, puffiness on the side. So from here, bounce here 10 times. So one, two, three, four. Feel your side. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay here. Feel the stretch. Now, very important. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. As you exhale, Heaviness from the side of your body leaves your body through your breath. Okay, breathe in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. <sighs> One more time, breathe in. Exhale out, return to center. <sighs> Great job. Now switch. Left hand goes on your abdomen, right arm goes straight up. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Remember, the breathing is what will help you let go of the trapped energy inside. Breathe in. Exhale, lean your body to the left, stretch the side of your body. 
Let's bounce here 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay here, breathe in. Exhale. Again, breathe in. Exhale, return to center. Nice. Keep your feet shoulder width apart. Feet are pointing forward. And now from here, twist your spine. Lifting your heel to twist more. Twist your spine, relax your arms. And first, feel your lower back twisting. Lower back twisting. Your arms are relaxed. Feel your spine. Your spine needs to be nice and supple so that your circulation is flowing very well. If your spine is stiff, a lot of things get stuck as a result. Breathe out. Great, now chest level. Twist from your middle back and chest. Feel the middle back and chest. Here too, you'll feel some stuffiness. What should you do with the stuffiness? Let it out through your exhale. Ah. Ah. Good, now bring your arms up over your head, stretch and twist all the way. Stretch and twist, feel your upper back and shoulders. Exhale out here. Ah, feel your spine becoming more supple and soft. Ah, back to center. And slowly return down. Stop. Great job. Next, we'll do some tapping for our intestines. Did you know that a lot of your inflammation actually comes from gut inflammation? When you take care of your gut, it causes a domino effect to reduce total inflammation from your body. So let's work on our gut. Bring your feet shoulder width apart. Bend your knees slightly so your body weight is down, not up, down. Relax your arms and tap your lower belly. This is my belly button. You want to tap below your belly button. Here. Arms relaxed. Let's tap here 50 times. Ready? Imagine you are tapping through your skin, not the surface, into your intestine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feel your abdomen. Breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, forty, last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Massage your abdomen clockwise. Great. Let's deeply stimulate our intestines even more. Bend your knees again. Place your hands on your lower abdomen. And now this time, purely with your abdominal muscles, not your hands, purely with your abdominal muscles. Pull your stomach in and push out. I'll show you from the side. Pull in and out, like you're massaging, like this. So rest your hands here, just with your abdomen. Like this, we'll do 50 times. This is deep cleansing your gut. Deep massaging, deep cleansing your gut to help with inflammation and raise your immune system located in your gut. 75% of your immune system is in your gut. Let's do this 50 times, ready? Breathe, okay, breathe, don't hold your breath. One, two, three, four, out all the way in, out all the way in, five, six, Seven, eight, 
nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Push out and in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Don't move. I'm just showing you from the side so you can see better. Don't move. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. If you feel pain, that's blockage. Breathe out. Twenty more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 40, last 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. 50. Great job, massage your abdomen clockwise. Whew. Shoot down. How do you feel? Do you feel your body is a little bit warmer? If your body's warmer, that warm temperature in your body will help decrease inflammation. Decrease inflammation in your body. Do you feel tingling in your hands, maybe warmer in your hands and feet? All of these are good signs of great circulation. So for inflammation, my key point is two things. One, you have to move your body. Move your body some way to circulate blood and energy and breathe. Number two, focus on your gut. Your gut is the holy grail of inflammation. If your gut is inflamed, it inflames other parts of your body too. So if you can keep those two points in mind, it'll help greatly reduce your inflammation and other symptoms, unpleasant symptoms that might come as a result. You did a great job. To experience a full one hour brain education based class, please visit a local body and brain yoga studio near you.